Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Guys, I want to talk about one of the forage species that we don't hear that many people talk about, but I can assure you that this forage species is a big player with almost all game fish and heck, even panfish. There's not that many fish out there that will turn down this easy meal. And I've had a lot of experiences where if you're matching the hatch to this uh, this forage species, your production rate or your catch rate will go up dramatically. And I wanna give you a specific background story to this. So several years ago, I was fishing a very clear body of water uh, that probably had about 15 feet of visibility in Northern Wisconsin. And I happened to be having a tough day on the water. I was fishing a lot of small swim baits and I was fishing some uh, Ned rigs. And I was fishing for smallmouth, not having a great day on the water. I happened to look over the side of the boat. And what do I see going past the side of the boat down probably five, six feet under the boat was a big black leech just undulating through the water. And I'm looking over the side at it. And what do I see come up and eat it? Not a big smallmouth, a big walleye. A big walleye came up from the bottom and ate the bait. It was one of those things where I wish I had had a GoPro. Almost couldn't believe what I saw that day. Uh, you know, it's one thing to see a leech in the water. It's another thing to see a big walleye. It was probably 23, 24 inch walleye. Really nice one. So I ended up going, well, maybe I should try. I haven't caught anything on a small Kitek. Haven't caught anything on the Ned Rig. I'm pretty sure I was throwing a drop shot that day. And I ended up switching my bait choice on the drop shot over to this guy right here. This is a little Kitek leech. And if you've ever put one of these on a drop shot and you, you know, give it small wiggles, you'll see that it undulates very much like a leech. And that day I ended up catching a bunch of big smallmouth, several big walleye, and like three or four big perch. So it turned a bad fishing experience around <clears throat> to the point where I had a really good experience. And this was, I, this was several years ago. Since then, I've done a, a lot of experimenting with leech style baits and found that I have a lot of really good luck with them, especially during the summer months. It seems like leeches are excellent summer baits and they catch everything. They catch both bass species, they catch walleye, big perch, panfish, crappie, uh, pretty much everything will eat a leech. So if you haven't tried a leech bait, I recommend that you do. And I've got some of these here are my absolute favorites, the ones I've had quite a bit of luck with. So I want to point them out to you so that you can see that there are a bunch of uh, leech variations out there. Now, some of my favorites are not actually soft plastics like the Kitek here. Some of my favorites are hair jigs, uh, you know, and I've always thought that that's what a black marabou jig, which a lot of us know as an excellent smallmouth bait, is really mimicking in the water is a leech. So something like this Dominator jig, which is just a marabou jig by VMC. Uh, if you wanna go with a straight bucktail hair jig, this is the Kaleens. This is just their hot hair jig. This is a really good one as well. Uh, and I don't, I, I can't say I have uh, a time and a place where I choose marabou versus bucktail. I tend to choose marabou more than bucktail because it has better undulation in the water but I've definitely experienced times where the bucktail hair jig outperforms marabou too. And I don't really have that dialed in specifically. Generally, if there is a good hair jig bite, either the marabou or bucktail will work interchangeably. But a, a good hair jig does a great job at mimicking uh, your leech species out there. Like I said, the leech by Kitek, this thing is uh, absolutely phenomenal on a drop shot. Another one that I truly love is just the Berkeley Gulp. You can get these in big jars or you can get them in small packs as well. Uh, these are just probably the most lifelike looking leech. I'll get one out so you can see it. Opening a new bag just for you. These little guys are really, really good. They've got a really natural look too. You can see they've got more of a black on the bottom and then a little lighter color. They uh, are absolutely fantastic baits to use if you're trying to mimic leeches. Uh, and then the last one that I really like too, and this is one I've just really started playing around with and I've had a lot of luck. This is the Nico Zaza leech. So again, it's a flat bait. 
does a really good job at mimicking a leech as well, and it's made of that flexible material. And there's a couple of ways that I like to fish these. Uh, the first is on a drop shot. I really like to take a drop shot hook and just nose hook the bait. And then when you give little, uh, little shakes of the rod tip, you get really good undulation out of the bait, which has that leech type look. Uh, generally speaking, when I'm fishing these on a drop shot, I'm fishing them in a manner where I throw it out and then I'm, I'm almost straight retrieving it or fishing at very slow drags on the bottom, keeping my bait off the bottom and just letting the tail kind of just swim through the water column. That's my favorite way to do it. And I also generally fish it with a longer leader. I'm going to say two to three foot long leader because I really do want it higher up off the bottom. So a drop shot's a great way to fish it. A, a Ned rig, a very light Ned rig is also a very good way to fish like some of your thicker Ned rigs. Like you can fish the Berkeley Gulp or the Zaza Leech with a really small Ned rig. I like to fish it uh, with one that's probably a tenth of an ounce or lighter. Uh, generally speaking, if I can fish a twentieth of an ounce jig head, that's how I'm going to fish it. Because again, I'm I'm not fishing this like a traditional Ned rig. I'm almost fishing it more uh, in the form of uh, a hover strolling or keeping it up off the bottom. And I'll just kind of fish it and just kind of tight line it really is what I'm doing. So I'm casting it out, engaging the reel, and just letting it fall on a tight line but I'm keeping it way up off the bottom. And lastly, as I just mentioned, you can also fish these on a core tackle hover rig. Uh, we've got a lot of really light sizes, but I will say you gotta have the right body for it. You can't take a hover or you can't take a Kitek leech and put it on a hover rig because there's not enough mass there, but you can do it with the Zaza leech or the Berkeley gulp. The point is whether you're using a small Ned rig or a hover rig, you're trying to keep your leech up off the bottom. Leeches don't just go hang out in the weeds or really lay in the rocks. Generally speaking, they present themselves as an extremely easy meal when they're just swimming through the water column. And therefore it becomes one of those irresistible things for bass. So if you happen to uh, be experiencing some tough fishing in your area, or you're on a lake that has a lot of leeches in it, because it really is, uh, it, it really is important to figure out where the leeches are and not. There's a lot of lakes that don't really have leech populations. And then there's others where it feels like you see five or six floating through the water column on the, on your trip out there. So if you know you're on a lake that has a decent leech population, you really should give some of these baits a try or something else that mimics the leeches. Now, generally speaking, from a color standpoint, I really like black. Black is generally my favorite, uh, but there are some different lakes that have leeches that do have a bunch of different color variations in them. Uh, a lot of times your olive color can be a really good one too. But don't overlook the leech. I know they're disgusting. I hate handling them. They're not something I want to find if I go swimming stuck on my leg. Uh, it brings me back to a childhood memory where I went swimming up on a lake in northern Wisconsin. I got out and there was a leech like that on my leg. I pulled it out. I looked at the leech and there were like a thousand tiny clear baby leeches on it and I looked back at my leg and I had like 10 of the baby leeches on my leg it was disgusting it really has turned me against leeches but they are an easy meal for the fish and it's a good forage species to try to mimic and we've got a lot of really good baits now that work well for it so give it a try guys if you've had good experiences fishing leech baits or bad experiences share it in the comment section so that we can learn from you guys as well Maybe you got a bait that works really well. Share that so we can learn from that too. So thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. New video coming out tomorrow.